Check on that forecast now with Jake. And Jake, you say we're going to get just a little bit more snow maybe tomorrow night? Yeah, exactly. As we go into tomorrow night, early Monday, we could see some snow, especially north and west of town, maybe even some sleet in some spots. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to take you to the seasonal total right now for Boston. A whole tenth of an inch at uh, Boston Logan Airport with that storm about 48 hours ago. We actually average about 1.2 inches for the month of November. I don't think that we'll probably hit that as we look towards the long term, unless it would be maybe next week. Uh, but notice the latest uh, first inch of snow, actually Valentine's Day in 2007. Uh, so, again, something to watch for. I don't think it'll be that late. I think we'll see our first inch as we go into the next uh, couple of weeks. We do have some cold air right now, but we have this reinforcing shot of cold air that's going to move through the Great Lakes. That arrives tomorrow. In fact, our temperatures are going to be a good 12 degrees below where we were today. We actually hit 50 in Boston, only thinking upper 30s for afternoon highs tomorrow. But the core of the cold air actually in the intermountain states. Check out some of these temperatures. You're talking and temperatures that are in the single digits in some spots. Now, the good thing is we're not going to see any highs that cold, but we do have a shot of cold air that's going to be coming up from Canada, and it arrives right in time. It's taking its time through the Thanksgiving travel season. It's arriving here in New England right in time to get some turkey on Thursday. Uh, so we'll have to watch that for the afternoon highs because there's going to be a lot of folks playing uh, those football games, those uh, turkey day games, and just traveling in general. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Temperatures are in the middle 40s for Boston, currently 37 in Worcester and 43 degrees in Lawrence. You notice the skies are starting to clear out a little bit. We do have a chilly night ahead, so we're going to have to watch for a little refreezing in some of those area side streets. 25 for an overnight low in Bedford, 24 in Worcester. A little bit warmer as you go into the Cape, 30 degrees for an overnight low in Boston. Tomorrow we will see clouds building, temperatures getting back into the upper 30s. The late snow and mix arrives after dark. We'll call it 10, 11, midnight as you go into Monday. And that's kind of what our hour by hour forecast has. We're starting out with clear skies, a little sunshine early, but the clouds progressively build. And notice what starts moving into mass as we go into uh, the evening. There's 1030. Notice uh, Metro West into the Worcester Hills, seeing some of that uh, light accumulation. And then it wouldn't surprise me if we do see some snowflakes mixed in with some rain and sleet in Boston. But pretty quickly we train, we change over to rain, and this is going to be pretty much a rain event for Boston. Don't be surprised, though, if you live along that Route 2 corridor Monday morning, potentially a little icy as you go into the uh, Monday's morning commute. And then we're just left with a few showers as you go throughout the day on Monday. Not talking about a ton of snow here. A lot less impactful than what we saw with this past storm. One to two inches for the Worcester Hills, the Route 2 corridor coatings. I'm thinking nothing beyond just conversational flurries and some rain for the Boston area and points to the south and to the east. And then what we watch for is that shot of cold air arriving through the Great Lakes. That's going to arrive right in time for Turkey Day Thursday. And we're talking a cold Turkey Day. In fact, temperatures only getting into the low 20s and breeze 30 to 40 miles per hour. So feels like temperatures potentially in the single digits for Thursday. Notice we're dry. Silver lining there. I like that. Okay. So the end of the forecast, we are dry, but the next couple of days, a bit unsettled. We'll have to watch for a little accumulating snow north and west of town.